Rivaldo. McAllister tucking into cover. Last little ball to Smitsa. Smitsa not able to get it round a sufficient angle. That's a good, good shot from Rivaldo. Have to be watched with care. All of 35 yards. And I'll tell you what, Vestavold is worried about that because that's just going to dip under the crossbar and that is a terrific touch, a vital touch as well. Not going to be easy for Liverpool to get down this flank because you've got Jamie Carragher and Gary McAllister, right-footed players playing on the left-hand side. Clivert made a present of it. And trying to run Osho with a good tackle. Meets up. Oh, in. Just ran away, but it ran away from Rayner as well. Pulsating out. Yeah, it's terrific. The first touch let Michael down. Good play by Sweetser. Released it. And as Michael Owen tried to knock it on into his stride, he just knocked it too far. Credit to Rayner. Came off his line very quick and just got there in time. Husky pulls back for the penalty spot, Hoopier for the long run, Babel leads the charge, Carragher back, here's Hoopier! Oh, it's great hanging ball, Hoopier gets above his man, he heads it back across the goal, just a bit too high for Babel to get the second header. Carragher. Husky. Smitsa moving inside, Owen coming from deeper, good turn by Heskey, Smitsa! Well, a good early ball from Jamie Carragher with his left foot, released Heskey, good swivel, and Smitsa was just backpedalling, and although he got it on target, he couldn't force the power to actually beat Rayner. Overmars. Luis Enrique, oh. Well, there were a lot of options in the box then, and the danger was caused by Mark Overmars. It was a good run, teased Babel, it was a good ball across, and it managed to go an awful long way. And how much did it miss by? Oh. The whisker. Well collected. And industry and hard challenges from Harmon Rivaldo. And hopefully, I couldn't stand on ceremony then. It was a question just of getting to the ball first. A great bit of individual skill by Rivaldo. He picked the wrong one then to try and uh, challenge with Hoopier. Hoopier trying to find some space. What a good time this will be for Liverpool to score. And Babel doesn't get there. Hanging in the air, going on, and the referee is saying handball. It's a penalty. Petit amused. The ball did seem to hang in the air, and it obviously came up off the hand, and clearly it was handball by Claubert. Gary McAllister steps up to take the penalty. Oh, that's a great ball. Oh, the wrist kick by here. Oh, he's so lucky. So, so lucky, Vestervelt. Well, what an escape. How many times have we seen goalkeepers punished for this? Definitely clips the outside of it. <laughs> Referees gave him the credit that he missed it completely. Definitely clipped it outside of the boot. Good save, he had to get up from a standing position, goalkeeper. A bit more height and he would have been more tested, it has to be said. Gerard shot! 
was a fine strike, and he didn't miss by much. Oh, it was a wonderful strike, but right behind that. Liverpool aiming to reach their ninth European final, their first since 1985, 16 years ago. And they've been successful in eight out of 11 previous semi-finals. It. Look, watch where Rivaldo is. If it's left, Rivaldo actually has got ahead of Rabel. Fala. We're inside the last ten. Murphy. Dubois. One to chase, but guess who's underneath it? Hopia. Berger. The final whistle is blown. Liverpool are through to the final. Their ninth final in Europe. Their first since 1985 and their third different final in one season. It's a remarkable achievement by Gerard Houllier's men. The one goal from the penalty spot by Gary McAllister. It was a match which deserved, frankly, a better goal to decide it. But Liverpool go through to the final in Dortmund on May the 16th. 1-0, the final score. <laughs>